Yo, what's up there, Pokemon fans, and welcome back to the episode number four. As you have seen in my previous episode, that we were able to fulfill the request of my. We not only fought the Alpha Pokemon, but also got one. Okay, time to begin and continue on our story. We have seen that Diamond Clan and Pearl Clan commanders were fighting, but before that, let's fulfill her request that she wanted a complete entry of uh, Talia. Wait one moment, male and female Stalin you know, have different appearances. Let me see. So the marking on their foreheads are different sizes. Incredible, I had no idea. Okay, that's a new thing for me also. Thank you for letting me know. Now that I know uh, more about it, I imagine I might finally bring myself up to close Stalin. Okay, she wants us to catch one Stalin, but you know what? We already have one. So let's just focus this also. The smooth curl of a feather on its head, those lovely round eyes. Oh, it's lovely through and through. I adore it down to the last feather. Well, hello there, Stalin. Want to touch it? Want to pet it? Want to touch it? Because she is afraid of touching it. No. <laughs> I think I'm quite satisfied with looking at it. After all, beside it might lead to the blue. Who outside of the survey corps or security corps could actually do something so frightful as approach a Pokemon willing thing? All the same, I must thank you for showing me this great start. Some people will see a Pokemon and simply flew on sight, you know. But as being able to read all about Pokemon in that Pokedex might put them more at ease. Okay, we just completed the request number 2 and we got Pokeball in reward. Okay, time to head and end your story. I think we are able to get our new rank also, now. Let's do, talk to the sign-in first then. Let's see what he has to say about our rank. If you have programs to record, I will judge this button and show me a copyright. Hmm, you have made progress. You think you have on your color. And we got our second guitar, you know, or we can say second guitar. With this, you have officially attained the rank of second star in the Galaxy Expedition team. But now use Feather Ball. Okay, level 30 will also obey you. Pokemon, the reward you earn from your survey report is more generous now. As is as well, these are further and we will need programming. Okay, we got the recipe programming Feather Ball. Anything else? Super Oceans. The good thing. But you dedicate yourself to completing the Pokedex update. I think that's what we are trying to do. Okay, time to take a request from this blackboard also. Botherosome speed off. It seems a panda bother speed off keeps sticking into the village and causing trouble. Talk to Sumagi up from the security cost and see if you can help set in the order. Okay, that's a request number eight. End up playing with Diffloon. It seems several people have spotted a Diffloon playing with one of the village children. Mickey from the security box can tell you more. Speak with her and get to the bottom of this request number 7. Okay, that's all for the request. You might also complete that later on in the series. Okay, there's one more request. I will take that later on again. Yes, entry in his style. What they are talking about? What do you intend to do about that clear war, Commander Tamado? We may be descended from a body of war almighty Sino, but look at the mess he is causing. We can't sit back and let him reach on. Clever, the Pokemon we just saw in the trailer, huh? You do get rid of the point. And a man, time wasted is lost. Well, tell me, what would you have us to do? Clever is a precious lord of the Pearl Clan. Is he not? That's the point. My clan can't intervene directly where the Lord of the Pearl Clan is concerned. If my people were to do something, our two clan might end up back at each to the thought. Just like we used to do. Even, but even folk of the galaxy team have been wounded, haven't they? Seems someone's got to do something here. Who then? Would the Diamond Clan have the Pearl Clan bring down one of its own? 
honored nobles. I don't believe I said that though. It thought it maybe. You might as well have said it, you fool. <laughs> Look, we don't even know what Rogue Lord we were. We do such a war and frenzy. I would like to know that myself. This is the first as far my plan knows. Uh, I see you are. You have arrived. This is Karan, the newest member of our survey club. Ah, I hear from my you earned YDS favor. Good to finally meet you, strange from the rift. Stranger from the rift. I am Adam, and leader of the Diamond Clan. If you wanna want to be formal, but that's a mouthful. Just call me Adam. Okay. If you came from beyond the space-time rift, could you be from the space where all mighty Sino is said to reside? I don't know about that. Amiri, the leader of the Pearl Clan. Caution and foresight are my watchwords. Which is why I have trouble believing such a deal. Could you really have passed through that realm? That all. Everybody says that I have a proposition. Why not send this one to study clever before deciding what to do next? You have sent this stranger. You supposedly fell from the rift to study clever. This newcomer with no experience says the leader with almost no experience. <laughs> Being a good leader isn't a matter of time, it's a matter of embracing his vastness without fear. Well then, there you have it, if how you knew you are doesn't matter, then let's give the kid his chance. Yeah, give me, I'm sold commander, let's try this your way. This should be fun, I will get to see how good you galaxy folk really are with all your weird ways of putting Pokemon in those strange balls and what have you. That whole practice bothers me. Almighty Sino made this way war so Pokemon could live freely throughout. We are meant to stand alongside Pokemon, not count our color of them. We do not use Pokeball from a desire to control our Pokemon, only so that we can live together. Allow us to show you what we can do. This is your mission now, Karan. I order you to study clever and help us find the truth of the situation. I accept this mission, Commander. Remember that you are a stranger who appeared one day out of the very sky of our people are naturally suspicious of your presence here. If you wish to be fully accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Work yourself to the very bone. And that is going to be your mission. Frenzy of the Lord of the Woods. Well, that's at us and there's no time like the present. The Lord of the Woods, Cleaver is descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty. He knows own power. No other Pokemon you have yet encountered can compare to his strength. Be warned. Listen to me. The Galaxy Expedition team has come to the history region as a group of outsiders that might even call us interlopers. We must not do anything to threaten our relation with the Diamond and Pearl Clan. Understand? I guess. Join me downstairs, sir. We'll cover the details of the new mission. Okay, there's a lot of talking in this video, then I guess. I want to fight also. Can we meet up clever? Oh splendid, you came along at a good time. I'm looking for a picking stone, you see. Would you mind lending me a hand? I need to be a right side to put the dog on one of my pickle spot and heavy enough to put a nice firm pressure on the pickle while they are for me. But I suppose it would be hard for me to lift such a heavy thing from a pot. The best thing would be for a stone to lift itself actually. Oh, I've got a rather good idea. There's a Pokemon called Chiori who does lift on tier to a height. It will be perfect for the dog. Could you catch one and bring it to me? I will head home and wait for you there. Okay, only that's how you, your request. Catching a due to and give it to you. Okay. I think we might do that later on. Then. Okay, let's go into the briefing of this mission, shall we? Ah, good. You're already here. Professor Lavenden, the briefing, if you please. Yes, let's get right to it. So, Karan, I understand you have a request to find out the cause of Cleaver's frenzy to state, but as you are aware by now, Cleaver is a mighty thing, nigh invincible even. The security cost tried throwing Pokeballs at Cleaver when they are seen. I'm afraid they didn't even close, come close to it. He's far trickier opponent than even knows the great species of Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of battle once they are right. I would like to be perfectly clear on this point. This mission will put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle it? I think I can. Very well, then let's just do what the particular. 
The Diamond and Pearl Clan revered their nobles because they believe these Pokemon serve their almighty you know. They leave offering to express their gratitude to the people in location and they call the novels. So perhaps a good starting point for our research could be to find out what sort of offering they normally need for the people. Karan, we need to speak with you. Adaman, listen, that rifting in space time seems like it connects this world to a whole other world. The that world might be that world might be where almighty reside. The two almighty you know it is there, that is. So if you travel through the space time rift, that might mean you travel through time. By almighty you know don't tower. Think of it, you must have been just swimming in its divine might. Well, I've got a favor to ask of you, oh amazing triumph traveler. Don't just study Cleaver, Quell is friendly. Well, you suddenly caught us at a good time, young Adam. We were just discussing our next step with regard to this whole Cleaver situation. Oh, you must be that that city is called I have heard about. Good to meet you, Mr. Professor. Share some of that knowledge with me sometime. Now, let me elaborate a little. Those Quell clan types have a lot of respect for Cleaver. You heard this? His title, Lord of the Boat. I'm sure they are rather get his under control too, but it's hard for them to come right out and ask those of a collective team of all people for help. And the truth is, we in the Diamond Plan have a similar problem on our hands. A Pokemon dear to us off in the mountains has thrown into the same kind of frenzy as we ever. Now there's certainly bad blood between us and the Blood Plan, but you see, we are all got to share his way, and that means we ought to tackle our problems together. But there aren't many capable of standing up to such powerful Pokemon. You are the best hope we got. You will find Cleaver at Garanti Arena, that's in the very heart of the hardwood. His warden is a boy named Lian. Lian is a brilliant giant but also a bit well. Sometimes brilliance can be a blind system. He t will tell you all about his beloved Cleaver, whether you wish him or to or not. Anyway, I'm sure you are up to the challenge, so we'll be counting on you. See you later. Okay, off to go to meet me and he suddenly let me be once he finished talking. I suppose he really gave his time. Madam and my weren't you know, you know, he said if you study and perhaps even go and flavor you would better start by visiting this morning. Our new hide camp would be a handy place for setting out to go to rent your arena. And you should stop by a prancer too. You only really want to do the best to bring it. I think I've already done that uh unofficially in the video. Finding yourself <coughs> unable to pick up the material you come across, satchel always come handy. If that sounds like you, I will wish to lend me your ear of movement and hear what I have to say. Okay, what do you want to say about my satchel? You can carry around even more in that satchel of yours if you learn that trick to pack and We can teach you if you like what you say. Okay, then teach me. And you want a hundred pocket dollars for that? Alright, I can bear with it. You made a space to keep one more kind of item. Okay, that's how you make it space on your bag. Since uh, you are in a, a bag, you can always carry a limited amount of uh, items. He keeps eating me, now he wants 200 more. I don't think he can enough money. And that's all. You see how much more you can fit? Okay, the same thing is already. You want to teach us more? Maybe later on. Let's focus on our mission then. On the way to the meet Lian, but uh, let's see if we can find any new Pokemon while going there then. Our things, my good friend. Hulu. I certainly hope you are putting that secret back to strike technique I told you to could use. Of course, yeah. Either way, I have some super potion here just for you. Oh, think nothing of it. Having a survey crop out and about studying Pokemon is great for business, you know. Supporting you now is actually an investment in my own fortune. Wow, business tactics. You're paying for super potions? Okay. And now I must depart, these are, there are rooms that are just falling to me. Okay, now I think that there is going to be a, enough talking and let's have to directly to the high camp, let's go to there on.
then we can start and see if we can find a new pokemon around there since we need to explore this obsidian field and we still need to find more pokemon or an alpha pokemon since we have already seen two alpha pokemon that is rapidash and and cricketune which we already caught rapidash is level number 40 i think we might need to make our pokemon stronger before we fight against them Okay, let's head out now. We were supposed to start from here. I think I saw a Standler up in the hills. See where there. I need to be clear on this one. Uh -huh. Can't climb this one. Come on, I want that Standler. That's a Standler only. That's a pre evolved form of Wydia. Only in history region, huh? Come on, let's get this quickly. Okay. He's not in a lot more. Come on, come on. Let's eat it. <coughs> ah. In one shot. I think I gain experience also. I think I saw one more Pokemon up here. Ah, Star Avia. Let's try to catch it first. point in finding that one but uh, as you can hear the background music we just saw one more alpha pokemon right up the hill where we catch the standler that's an alpha standler okay nothing we can do since it's uh, level 40 that is going to be our first evolution Chris Star evolving through uh, that's our first evolution and, uh, Animation of evolution, it's so much good. I really like that. Okay, moving on. I don't know when we will get to ride on YTL, but for now, I think walking is the only way to explore this vast place. You can easily get distracted or lose the side also sometimes. You don't know where to go. But at least markers come in handy. The markers is there. It's a geo route. Okay, we need to move past the river also. But to pass the river, we need a bridge or something like that. And there is a bridge as I have seen on the map. If you want to see, just pause it there. There, maybe. Let's go out quickly. It's the night time. You can always find a new Pokemon in the night. So there's you bad, Drift Rune, of course. I don't know uh, uh, anybody else. Maybe in the later period we should find. Okay, there's nothing there. Again, a Zubat. That's a Cricketot. Any new Pokemon I'm not finding. I think we need to get past to that beach or something. That's where the bridge or maybe something out there. There is a bridge or something to pass this river and pass to the hardwood. Then only we can find a flavor or a bottom. Sorry. Alright then. The path is clear. No, it's not. A zoo bat is there. Let's see if we can find any water Pokemon. I need to know where we can find a more water Pokemon. Since we already have a weasel. Can we find more Pokemon? There's a couple of Zubat ones again. Tide Water Dam. I think I found a bead off also. Of course, it's the 
tide water dam, you might find the feed off since uh, there's sharp sea to just make up the dam. Okay, one alpha Pokemon barrel. Let's see if we can fight it. First, we need to focus on. Okay, that's level 15 only. I think we can catch it. An alpha Pokemon battle. We just fought till morning and we are able to catch our very second for alpha Pokemon. The battle is now our there's a couple of more V battles. That's what a size different. Data. I happen to see an iron chunk that fire came. Oh, come on, come on, I need to get past that. When we will get our white ears. Then only we can just move fast. Oh, oh, they are still attacking. That's water balls two times. Come on, we don't need to be black out at this moment. Why it is shining? I think I have found. Okay, that's a beautiful eye. That was quick. Ah, Scott Gray. Okay, we are in the hardwood. We need to go here. Okay. Can we find any new Pokemon? We will find a new Pokemon. Okay, one more beauty fly. I hope I am on the right path towards the modern. I saw a couple of Scyther over there. Oh, but I can't across this gap of water. Maybe there must be a, another way or something. That's a silkoon. Yes, that's a silkoon. Okay, I saw a couple of that's a Boneri. That's a side up. Okay, for side up also. Alright then. Uh, now I am thinking I am on the right path. Since there are banners you can see. There was photo is also there. Now you must be Leanna. I am Leon of the Pearl Clan, the Warden to Cleaver's Lord of the Woods. And you, I have already deduced that you have come here to beat Cleaver. I am right, aren't you? I, of course I am, I can see it. After all, the powerful awesome Cleaver has become even more awesomely powerful. But I had that strain lightning the other day was almighty seen or divine power. But whatever it is, it was struck my lord and left him confused with awesome might. Okay. So I must turn you away even if it pain me, it's too dangerous for you to be for right now. Just that then, I'll do anything. Oh, such earnest desire to be mighty clever, I have to admit I am a strong by your passion. But well, I am afraid your passion is not the real deal. I have told in my certain terms by Irita that I am not to let to anyone near clever. I will fight you off. If you wish to avoid battle, withdraw now while you can still or face the wrath of my gooby. Okay, you have a gooby. You don't even realize I am turning you away for your own safety. Go go and see if you can boost some good sense over this collection troublemaker. Okay, I didn't expect to battle with a water. That to be the mini Alright, done with the battle. So pretty much easy since we have our alpha Pokemon also by our side. Okay, now I can see the clever. How can this be? 
it may have been defeated i may have been defeated but my point is still is that i only welcome you to get you into your protein normally i will simply try make him an offering a nice heap help ping off his two favorite foods served up with respect by his loyal boy that's me of course is usually enough to please him and to the prettiest of food but even i clever lord loyal boy can't get enough close to you given off and now not with the way clever is rampaging there's nothing that an outsider like you can do The ancestor of Clever Wide and their poor drew on all my needs in our tower to protect your Pokémon and people alike. So it said, it's by their grace that our clan that any of us live, still lives in vast with so it could is. Erita, what are you doing here? As you say, Clever's grow even stronger, but I'm afraid that it's been for this the problem. If he was indeed struck by the lightning, could the board have been sent by a force we know that the Diamond Clan goes to? Clever means so much to our clan. I hope we could bring this situation under control ourselves, not throw our hands up and ask some outsider boy out. But we must save Clever from this frenzy. Every moment it continues, the danger grows. If more people and Pokemon attack, it will lead to conflict with both the Diamond Clan and the Galaxy. Okay, it's all Galaxy. You, stranger from beyond the sky, tell me, could you get at the people actually fix this? Could you outside actually find a way to quell our lost frenzy? Yes, I will figure out something. Very well. Lian and I will get the food at this level. I know that you might be able to get to that food in a big number of hours. As for you, find a way to quell this frenzy, even if you must search every corner of our path. It's sweet. Okay, I guess we can't wait him right now, then. Huh? What's that? I'm a mystery pal now. You never used to return to base camp in an instant. Okay, you can do that from that map. We have been pretty much doing in every video now. Okay, what's our next one? Head up to the base camp and tell about to the Professor Lavender. Okay, now before telling him, let's take the Professor moment. That marvelous ringtone. How is it produced? Okay. Hello, didn't. See you there. Wait, you are just on the survey care. Wonderful, this is the person I need. I want to learn about more about cricket. Thought. Okay. It's a musical mystery like no other. It will take you complete cricket or page in your pocket and show it to me. All right. Another request of completing the pocket entry, and that this time is cricket or. Okay. What's your request, man? Oh, you have that boy from the survey club. Super from the survey. Listen here a moment. I need you to tell about this bread cake. Okay, mushroom cake. I pour 20 years of mushroom forging now into coming up with recipe, and I just know it's the winner. Problem is the folks around here just aren't catching on my recipe or making potential. So you are the dog of the village. If people see you making my mushroom cake, famous as you are, I'm sure they will give want to give it a go. To. I will teach you the recipe. All you have to do in return is spread the good word by. And you will need to get the key ingredient for the recipe yourself. Scrum not from the forest by its fire fellows as the old saying goes. One is springy mushroom. It's springy mushroom all you need. Okay, we might get that springy mushroom. Okay, finding a springy mushroom, you can always get that from a hard wood. Oh, is that so? Now that quite the tidbit. Right? So the serving of the paper food will normally make you a quite a clear puzzle. This time. I need to mull this over back at the laboratory. You should come along. Okay. While we are serving, we call that each studying Pokemon and we got four thousand eight hundred and twenty-five hundred dollars. See, that's why you need to keep collecting Pokemon and completing that entry depths also. Okay, okay. Only we were able to complete for Geo do that. Okay, back to the village. Okay, laboratory. So, according to the information you are able to learn from Vida, normal course of even that frenzy flavor would be counted by a nice serving by a favorite food. I do wonder if the possible data or some other some other component of this food might combine in a way that not only calm flavor but draw in back from the frenzy, but by your own report, even flavor water could look after flavor and not in well can't approach. It would be a full gambit to get through some two operations. Give me a moment if you would. I need something important on this one. There ought to be something in my research that is important. It is really thinking for that. That's a nice 
car. You simply have to throw the food. You're quite the arm for throwing things, haven't you, Karan? May I suggest you? Might I suggest you clip off your food and throw them at the uh, Pokemon? You need to elaborate that. Yes, it's all coming together. You can use a pure skill in Pokemon crafting to shape flavors, below our food into balls, then throw them to achieve the same crafting effect, but from Papa. A brilliant idea. <laughs> If I do save for myself and for what for these games. Well, how about tea time bomb? Put in one mine of a nice reduction of your feet, does it not? Why wouldn't you simply call them Leverton Balls, Professor? <laughs> oh my, with that name I've sound like I am the one who found that our friendly friend. In that any case we can rely on a pearl clan together to make the stuff, correct? Then you should get back to Grand Key Arena and let the Pearl Clan know our plan. Okay then, meeting the clever will be on the next episode. For this episode, I hope you do like it, do like and subscribe the channel if you are new. Until the next time, we will see you in my next mission. Until then, goodbye.